And as you just heard from Tara, these families are gathering not only to remember their loved ones, but they're also very focused on maintaining the airline safety standards that they have fought so hard for. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer spoke today about the battle to keep those standards in place. News 4's Patrick Ryan has the details. It was 15 years ago tonight that the crash of Flight 3407 happened in this spot behind me. Now the families of those lost gather to honor the legacy of the 49 people on board, including a pregnant woman, which were killed, and one person on the ground. Through their pain, the fight for safer skies continues. It's the stories of those lives lost, the victims' families took to Capitol Hill over the years in their Herculean battle for stricter airline safety standards. They've been successful over the years in getting laws passed that require more rest for pilots between flights and better training, including the 1,500-hour rule. That rule mandates pilots to have 1,500 hours of flight experience before being able to be hired to fly for an airline. These mandates have faced challenges over the years and now must be reauthorized by Congress by March 8th. Their passion and, and conviction was worth more than all the money the special interests in the airline industry could throw at them. And so today we mourn those who were lost. We honor the work of the families. We come together in action. The fight must continue. Triumph over tragedy. Mm. I have a tragedy for all of us. Came a triumph, not just in the airline bill, but these folks, Senator, are so incredible. They started foundations, they started scholarships, they they have met needs in the community. They poured themselves out out of their tragedy to triumph. So I couldn't be prouder to be a member of this group. John Kausner, you just heard from, lost his daughter Ellie on flight 3407. These luminary bags stationed at the site have the names of those lives which were lost 15 years ago tonight. Senator Chuck Schumer says though the regulations the families fought so hard for have faced pushback from the airline industry over the years, he's confident that Congress will pass the reauthorization bill. Reporting in Clarence Center, Patrick Ryan, News 4.